uh, the rising possibility of automation in driving, for example, which is yeah, really, right. really soon. Like, so like, put Uber out of business. And that, that would yeah. put um, approximately like 40%, because 40% of America is currently employed in the transportation industries. Right. Like, that would cause, like, at the very least, a very large displacement in terms of jobs. For sure. Would, that, would a solution that then to be like a possibility of universal basic income? And if not, then like what So I have, two problems, I have two problems with universal basic income. My first problem with universal basic income is that automatically, my view, is that it causes inflation. If you just give people a bunch of money and tell them to spend it, then prices are going to rise accordingly because everybody's just going to adjust for the fact that everybody has more money to spend. It's helicopter cash. You drop helicopter cash all over the world, and the prices are automatically going to rise. Well, well the, the prices, um, the money would still be backed up by like physical goods, though, because robots are still the one producing those physical goods. So it's not like there's a right. And so then, but now you're getting back to my first point, which is that if robots are producing everything, then we're all cool, and who cares? They'll just keep producing everything forever, and we're happy. So then, I guess in your case, then if so, if, it, it, so once the robots make everything free, then yes, I'm for universal basic income because everything's free. But until we have utopia and the, uto and, and, the, the, and the robots make everything for free, there will be scarcity in the market. And as long as there's scarcity in the market, there needs to be a pricing system for that scarcity, because otherwise you're not going to produce more of that, you're going to produce less of it. So, that, so that's, that's the basic economic point. And yeah. there's also like the general point, which is that um, another, a larger point to this automation, which is that a lack of jobs, um, a lack of jobs would lead to a lack of purpose. And then yes, like, the, the, no, it's totally true. But, and so what, what, what I think is, the question is whether there's a job lag, meaning people lose their jobs at Uber and then they just never work again, or, or is it a job lag where they just find another job but it takes a little while for them to adjust. And I think that the history of economics shows that there has, we have not yet reached the point where jobs just disappear wholesale. Right? If, if once we reach that point, then we can start talking about other solutions that we have not considered yet, because then we actually are not living in a capitalist economy. And a capitalist economy is driven by the idea that there is scarcity of, of capital so and labor and resource, right? If there's, no, if there's no scarcity, then we're talking about utopia. Okay. So I pray to God that that future comes true and we have utopia and everything's free. That'll be wonderful. Until then, people are going to have to have jobs.